Hello internet, welcome back. This is part five of my electromechanical clock build. I'm Chris, this is Zell's TV. Let's make something. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna cut this out. Glue it onto this plywood. Here we go. That's all ready to cut out. I'll mark out the points. These for drilling, then we're ready to mount some stuff. Superb! I've drilled out the center and put it in the bushing that's gonna accept the part of the clutch mechanism. And I've glued in the studs, the riser pillars for the top support here. So let's show you what else I've done. I've now finished this gear. Got all the detail worked out in the logo. I've cut out the teeth and the teeth are all meshing fine. Spent a long, long, long time cleaning up the insides of all these panels. Down the front and the back, cleaned it all up good. Next job will be fitting this to this clutch part. First thing I'm gonna to need to do is take apart this and replace this center portion with this. So, I really don't wanna lose any of this. C-clip comes off, that's the hub that holds the spring. There's a friction spring, a preload spring if you like. And all this just comes apart. Now there's a center portion that rotates inside this. And these pads provide a friction. And these pads I need to put on here. So these need to be peeled off. We do not want to lose these or have these damaged. There we go. All right, get rid of you for now. Now to assemble the thing. So now this wheel and the metal the spider replaces this part. So I don't need that anymore. But we keep hold of it in case you need a, a spacer or a washer or something. Moment of truth. Oh, that's good to see. That's very good to see. So, now it's a lot more clear what's going on. Drive mechanism around here. We'll turn this. Underneath here is a minute gear. That's all the idler stuff going on here. This is the hour gear. Yep, all like that. No bind ups. Sweet. Right, before anything else, let's clear this area and give us give ourselves a new bit of paper. Sweet! Look at that, beautiful. It's a bit crinkly, but you know, first go. We can't all be magicians. 
Anyway, another day, another stage in the build. So, what have we been up to now? Right, well, I've put this on this base plate to make it a bit easier to move around because when I've assembled it, it's a bit delicate. I can only hold it by this little bit down here to spin the cogs around. So, let's install this gear and the support, and then I can show you what else I've done. Right, now, if you've ever taken apart a clock before, what do you mean you haven't? Are you crazy? Anyway, you'll know that the hands go on separate axles, and these axles are coaxial, that means they share a common axis. One sits inside the other. So the minute hand goes on this one here, and the hour hand goes on this one, both rotating around a common center. So this is a machined steel rod. This is some aluminium tube, and I've got some washers spacing everything off. I've got an even slightly bigger tube there, and that goes over there. And the whole thing can rotate. And we've got the minute hand there and the hour hand there. I've glued these arbors in place to give it a bit more strength, and I've added this support at the top here to raise the hands up above everything so there's no rubbing on anything else. And I've also added these washers here to give me a bit more room because I had a problem with these two gears rubbing on one another. So just a millimetre or so of space, it solved that. that spins freely but it still sticks occasionally just ever so slightly needs a slight slightly more friction on the clutch so as you can see this wobbles around like this this hub moves with it because it's all attached to this by the clutch the arbor is okay if I press down on this everything stiffens up a bit and it runs a bit more smoothly a bit more straight so I'm going to put a shim inside this behind the spring to give it a bit more force pressing against the clutch and that should take out a bit, bit of the slop here we go no, you stay there good one washer ought to do it let's see bit stiffer. Hopefully that will solve a few problems. Hmm. Let's reassemble it and see. Yep, just one washer. That's made all the difference. It still wobbles slightly but not nearly as much. And it's no longer rubbing on these supports here, this gear. So that's something. I can even back drive it, which I couldn't do before because things were binding up. I'm going to end this episode showing you these I got from the same model store down the road as I got the aluminium tube. Let me get you in a bit closer. Now these are tiny little brass collars with holes in the side for set screws. And they go over arbors, axles and all the rest of it, screw into place. I'm going to use those for affixing these hands. I've made a couple like this to go on the clock temporarily. I'll make some much nicer ones out of much nicer wood. But for now I have this and it just pushes in place and I've got a slot cut out for the grub screw to go in that way. Now let's fix those on the clock and show you what that looks like. So here we are. We've got temporary at least plywood hands fixed not too tightly on the arbors. Well with that done that's all for this week. Next week I will start working properly properly 
on the twelve mechanism. Because I've done bits and pieces for that, and it's been lots of experimentation, and it's been fiddly trying to get it to work and to line up and everything else. But hopefully next week we'll get something moving, and we can start adding servos and electronics and everything else, and then we'll start to actually move on its own, which will be good. So until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned, and I will see you next Tuesday.